Kobo at out in the open. We got so excited. We definitely were not expecting to see this one here, and I wonder if it's not perhaps Scuba Steve. We're not too far from Treehouse Dam, and I think this might be who this leopard is. Eh, this leopard. Look at me. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I got so excited with leopard talk. Who this hippo might be? Now he's a bit wary, likely because he doesn't see too many humans out and out and about in the open, but he's pretty much walked all the way from Treehouse Dam into this general area, not too far from the lodge, and he's been easy, uh, he's been busy eating all the grass. This was an amazing bonus. <laughs> Did not expect to see a big hippo. Now he's pretending that he's not there, and that we can't really see him. Oh, such an awesome find. <laughs> and to be fair, and to be really honest with everyone, the first thing that we saw was actually its bum moving away. <laughs> so I initially thought it was perhaps a buffalo, but no, it's a hippo, and there it goes. Taking it very easy. John, you say this is the first time you've seen a hippo out of the water. Well, it's not a common sight, so I'm very happy we managed to get this one because we see often their tracks uh, when we start moving during, uh, especially during the morning. So it is a good proof that they do come out of the water and that they are around here. And you see how scary would it be to walk around in the African bush? Not only you have to worry about lions and leopards, but also about big, very hippos. Uh, well, very big hippos, not big, very hippos. I can't even think. And there's its fluffy little tail. Oh my, like, just by a few moments and we would have missed it. This is epic. <laughs> Colleen, you say this is cool but scary. Yes, it is a bit scary because sometimes we don't know how hippos are going to react outside of the water. The water is their home, their safe haven, so if they're feeling a bit threatened when we see them in the water, they just normally go down. So sometimes at night they might be a bit wary about everything. Mm, I think it's just moving. I want to try and perhaps going around, see if maybe we'll get another view from the other side. That would be quite exciting. See its big head again. Whew. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, okay, I don't think we're going to be able to see him from this side. The termite mound is very big. Mm. Alright, we're going to leave this hippo, but let's go back to Taylor, who's trying to keep up with Mr. T.